Welcome to Chrome OS Demo Day. Hey everyone, my name is John Miletus, Head of Product Engineering and User Experience at Chrome OS. I've been at Google for over 13 years working on products like Ads, Google Fi, Photos, Chrome Browser, and now 100% focused on the Chrome operating system. I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for joining, and I hope you're all doing well. It's December, and we've all been through a lot. Everyone's doing their best with the new normal for our loved ones, ourselves, and for our businesses. At Google, we've certainly seen the shift. Businesses of every kind moving faster than ever to the cloud. And with it, the growing priority of transitioning employees to cloud-based tools, transforming them into cloud workers. In fact, a recent study showed that 72% of IT admins agree that giving workers access to business apps anytime, any place, from any device is business critical. And just looking back at 2018, 77% of enterprises already had at least one application or a portion of computing infrastructure in the cloud. Of course, with COVID-19, the need for businesses to rapidly support a remote workforce hit hard and fast and has only accelerated this transformation. And we don't see it slowing down or going back to the status quo. For years, we've been designing a cloud-first operating system, Chrome OS. Previously, many thought cloud capabilities were just a nice to have, but now businesses are relying on them to survive. Chrome OS is the modern operating system built for the future, and increasingly, that future is now. Many businesses have chosen Chrome OS as their remote work solution because of its fast deployment, proactive and built-in security, remote management, and a cloud-first way of working. In fact, according to MPD, Chrome OS business unit shipments in the U.S. grew 38% year-over-year from January 2020 to September 2020, while the rest of the market declined 1%. We saw many remote work success stories, including deploying remote information workers, like at Devoted Health, a health insurance company. The entire company is using Chromebooks, 650 of them, from the C-suite team to their call centers to their nurses, they chose Chrome OS as their platform because it fosters collaboration with its cloud-first way of working and for access to productivity apps like Google Workspace, Zoom, and Slack. Without the months of planning they would normally use to roll out new devices, financial leader Synchrony got Chromebooks in the hands of more than 6,000 remote call center workers and kept their business running. With Chrome OS, they were able to deploy devices at unprecedented speed and enabled most of their call center workforce to work remotely in just a single weekend. And Hackensack Meridian Health, the largest healthcare provider in New Jersey, was able to switch 500 telemedicine practitioners to Chromebooks with Citrix in just two weeks. Now, they're freed from fixed workstations with mobile access to the files and information they need at home or on the go. Now Chrome OS is the preferred choice for a distributed workforce. Frontline workers, information workers, and IT at home, in the field, are making their way back to the office. But we know challenges still exist. With the proliferation of apps and devices, it can be hard to identify who's cloud ready. With employees across different locations, it's difficult to get devices set up and in the hands of your employees while keeping endpoints secure. And employees working from home need optimized apps and an experience that gives them the right tools and keeps them focused on what matters. That's what Chrome OS Demo Day is all about. We're excited to show you new capabilities that can help solve exactly these challenges and accelerate your move to Chrome OS so you can support your distributed workforce. We're gonna look at three key scenarios and the solutions for them. First, we're gonna look at figuring out who in your organization is ready for the cloud and who's gonna need support for legacy apps. And we'll see the simple steps for choosing the right Chrome OS devices for your employees' roles. Next, we'll take a look at our new partner program that's making it quicker than ever to recognize the apps that run best on Chrome OS. And we'll talk about how easy it is to deploy them. We'll also show you how deploying Chrome OS devices is now easier, faster, and more secure, all without IT ever having to touch a device before it gets to an employee. Lastly, we'll tackle productivity for the distributed workforce, including new updates for Chrome OS and a demo of the all new Parallels desktop for Chromebook Enterprise, which can give employees access to Windows apps on Chrome OS devices. These are the tools and capabilities that are gonna help accelerate your move to the cloud and Chrome OS to support your distributed workforce. Now let's dive in with our head of Chrome OS ecosystem health, Sampada Telong.
Thanks, John. Hey, everyone. I'm Sampada, and today I'm going to walk through some tips and a brand new tool that will help you prepare to move your business to Chrome OS. Moving to cloud-first devices is a major undertaking that requires informed decisions. It's critical to understand which employees and devices are ready to move to a cloud-first environment now and which will need a solution for accessing legacy applications. To make the process easier, we're launching the Chrome OS Readiness Tool. It is brand new and completely free. Our goal is to make it simple for IT to assess how cloud-ready each employee is, who can they switch to Chrome OS, by providing a complete picture of who's working with which applications across the entire organization. So how do you use the Chrome OS Readiness Tool to understand your workforce better and equip them with the right devices? First, configuring the Chrome OS Readiness Tool. Next, deploying it across your workforce. Then waiting approximately 30 days for the tool to capture app usage before evaluating that usage data. And finally, identifying the right devices for your employees. Now let's take a closer look at the process. Before deploying the Chrome OS Readiness tool to the Windows devices in your organization, use the deployment wizard to customize your deployment and choose where your results will be stored. They can be stored in one of your network shared folders or in Google Cloud Storage with more storage options coming soon. But wherever you choose to store your results, know that they stay in the hands of your business. No data is shared with Google or any third parties. After using the deployment wizard, use your configuration management service to deploy the Chrome OS Readiness tool which runs on the Windows devices in your organization. We recommend you communicate to your employees at this time that they might see a new icon on their tray. After a week, review the applications used across the organization and see if there's any customization that you want to make to the app categorizations. By default, the Chrome OS Readiness tool uses a database of applications that Google has verified and improved with real companies testing the tool. But one of the great things about the tool is that you can customize it to your own organization. You can specify apps that you know will require virtualization or apps that you prefer to continue running locally, like on a Windows device. Then we recommend you wait approximately 30 days as the tool captures how much time each Windows device spends in these different apps. It then analyzes that data and categorizes each device's cloud readiness based on the default app categorization or any customizations you made. Next, evaluation. You can then view a report that summarizes the cloud readiness of all the devices in your organization. You'll know exactly who is prepared to switch and who will need access to legacy and Windows applications through virtualization. Let's take a closer look at how Chrome OS Readiness Tool results provide the insight you need. Here's some sample results from a company we'll call Solid Zinc. As you can see, most of the devices in this office are Chrome OS ready. They're already using cloud-based apps or apps that have a cloud-based equivalent. But there's one device that we identify that needs verification. It's the device used by the head of sales for Solid Zinc, Natasha. As we look closer, we see that it's spending a significant amount of time in Microsoft Excel. And after further verification, we learn that Natasha and the sales team use macros. Now, while the Google Play Store and web-based versions of Excel have advanced capabilities, they do not support macros. Natasha is going to need the full featured Excel app. So she'll require virtualization support to run it on Chrome OS. A little later, we'll take a look at the new Parallels desktop for Chromebook Enterprise solution that's going to provide exactly that kind of support. Okay, so after deploying the tool and taking a look at the report, the IT department is feeling well-informed 
and they have a clear picture of who's ready to switch. The Chrome OS readiness tool will be available next year, but right now, you can sign up to be a trusted tester, which will help us make the tool even better. You can also download a sample report to take a closer look and sign up to be notified when it launches. Here's the link. You can find it in the resources just below the video player too. Now we're ready for identifying devices. We have a good understanding of which devices in this organization are ready for Chrome OS, and we need to choose the right Chrome OS device. There's a wide range of specs, form factors, and features across the ecosystem of Chrome OS devices. There are multiple form factors, such as clamshell and convertible Chromebooks, Chromeboxes, and Chrome bases with a vast range of CPU, memory, and storage configurations. Some have four gigabytes of RAM, while others have 16 with lots of storage, and each has its own set of features, like a privacy screen or fingerprint sensor. In a nutshell, not every Chrome OS device is created equal. So when choosing a device for an employee, we need to align device capabilities with how employees will be using them to provide the best user experience. There are three steps to doing this. First, we need to map the device workload to one of four categories. Second, we'll match that to the specs required. And third, we need to optimize our device selection based on the type of employee. Let's go through the process together. First up, we need to identify the device workload or how a given employee will use the device. We have identified four tiers of workloads, increasing in intensity. On one hand, you may have some employees that primarily only need web browsing and email. That's our very first tier. For other employees, that may not be sufficient. They might do heavy multitasking, like running video conferencing and virtualization at the same time. Their needs would be better aligned to device configuration specified in the apps and virtualization tier. For example, as we saw earlier, the Chrome OS readiness tool told us Natasha needs virtualization and needs a Chrome OS device that supports that. Step two is to map out the specs and key functionality required to support that device workload. Google has outlined recommended specifications for each device workload category. Natasha needs virtualization, so her new Chrome OS device should, at the very least, have the CPU and RAM listed here. The rest of her team aligns with this workload tier for collaborating. So their needs and devices will be different. They don't require as much processing power or RAM. We'll also want to think about form factors, features, and manufacturer preferences before we choose her device. If she were an information worker, only working from her desk, a Chromebox paired with a large monitor might fit her needs. But Natasha is a mobile professional who cares about mobility and aesthetics in addition to performance. We'll make sure she has a thin and light convertible Chromebook with advanced features such as a fingerprint sensor and privacy screen. Now it's time for step three, optimizing our device selection. Based on the use case and specs we've identified, it looks like the HP Elite C1030 Chromebook Enterprise or Dell Latitude 7410 Chromebook Enterprise, both of which are available as convertibles, would be two out of a few great options for Natasha. The company has used HP devices for years, so the IT team opts to stick with the same OEM and orders Natasha the HP Elite C1030 Chromebook Enterprise. And you can easily find accessories that will work seamlessly with your employees' Chrome OS devices. Look for the Works with Chromebook badge on products that are tested and proven to meet Chromebook compatibility standards. Mice, webcams, keyboards, headsets, hubs, 
and external storage with more than 100 certified products and 20 manufacturers, you can make sure to give users the hardware they need. You can find the link to our wayfinding guide that has the recommended specifications and features for different employees and use cases on the screen and in the resources section. Now I'm going to pass the mic to Jason Wong to show us how easy it is to get apps and devices in the hands of distributed employees. Thanks, Ampada. Now that we've figured out who's ready for the cloud and selected the device that works best, the next step is to get the hardware to your people and set them up with the right apps, which leads us to deployment. As a result of COVID's impact, 70% of businesses are looking for more effective technology to reduce costs and to help us better adjust to an environment shift we've all experienced. How you get apps and devices into the hands of your employees is crucial especially with a distributed workforce. And let's not forget, IT teams are often just as distributed, but not in the same place as your other employees. With Chrome OS, IT can remotely manage devices from the cloud-based Google Admin Console and even dropship fully managed devices directly to employees. But first, let's talk apps. They're the backbone of every cloud worker, right? Chrome OS supports thousands of apps, including progressive web apps, Google Play Store apps, Chrome apps, and you can even access legacy and Windows apps through virtualization. We want it to be easy for you to select apps for your organization. And that's why we're excited to introduce Chrome Enterprise Recommended, our new partner program. It offers a collection of apps optimized for Chrome OS and verified by Google. They range across business critical categories from printing and productivity to communication and identity and access management just look for the Chrome Enterprise Recommended badge and you'll know that the developer of that app has worked with Google to ensure it runs great on Chrome OS. These verified apps will help IT easily identify optimized solutions, speed up deployment time, ensure a great experience for employees and keep them productive too. After you know which apps your employees will use, you need to deploy them. And in addition to setting policies and managing updates, apps can easily be deployed remotely to users through the Google Admin Console. Now, we know that Natasha and all her remote work sales team collaborates with Zoom, and it's easy to deploy it from the Google Admin Console. From the apps and extension screen, you select the organizational unit the sales team belongs to. Expand the Add App menu and select Chrome Web Store. Search for the Zoom Chrome app. I want the app to be installed for my entire sales team and pinned to the Chrome OS shelf. So I will select Force Install plus Pin. That forces the app to be installed and also pin it to the Chrome OS shelf. Select Save. Now Zoom will be automatically installed and pinned to Natasha's Chrome OS shelf when she logs into her device. Zoom is just one of our Chrome Enterprise recommended partners, but we have many more. After the event, you can check out all our partner app demos on the event homepage to see how they work on Chrome OS. Now, to deploying devices themselves. We all know manual device configuration eats up valuable time. Speed and compatibility is the name of the game, and given today's circumstances, employees in multiple locations run the risk of being a burden to any IT department. In fact, a recent ESG study found that deploying a Windows 10 device takes an IT admin over 25 minutes. It only takes six minutes to deploy a Chrome OS device. That's 76% faster. And it only gets quicker with a new capability we've recently launched, zero touch enrollment. Designed to make deployment faster and easier for IT, with zero touch enrollment, Chrome OS devices can be drop shipped directly to employees because they automatically enroll into the corporate domains without IT having to do it manually themselves. It happens automatically during the out of box experience. Let's talk about how zero touch enrollment works. First, work with an approved zero touch enrollment OEM or reseller partner to purchase devices. They can recommend Chrome OS devices that are zero touch enrollment capable. Next, you share a token with that partner that is generated from the Google Admin Console. 
you only have to generate one token per organizational unit that you want the devices to end up in. This token helps Google validate that the domain information is correct. After handing off the token to your partner, they send the device information and the token to Google so the device is registered to undergo zero touch enrollment. Once the partner has registered the devices, they're ready to be drop shipped directly to employees. Employees like Natasha. Once her device is delivered, all she needs to do is connect to Wi-Fi. Chrome OS will install the latest updates and security patches. And after Google confirms that this device is pre-provisioned and supposed to be enrolled, it automatically enrolls. Unlike similar solutions, zero touch enrollment is Titan C verified, leveraging hardware backed attestation for an added layer of protection against unauthorized devices enrolling into your domain. Now Natasha can log in and everything she needs, apps, bookmarks, settings, and history is all available automatically from her cloud profile like a Zoom app, so she doesn't lose any time setting up her device or installing apps. Natasha is set up with the right cloud-first device for her role, and with zero-touch enrollment and the ability to deploy apps that are managed remotely, you can get devices into the hands of the rest of your workforce fast, no matter where they and IT are working from. Now that we're deployed, let's check in with Puneet Kumar to see how new tools for Chrome OS support workforce productivity. Thank you, Jason. So we have figured out who's cloud ready and we have deployed devices fast. But what about those employees we saw who still needed support for the legacy or Windows apps that don't have a cloud-based equivalent? You can use a solution like Citrix or VMware, but what if your business hasn't implemented a full VDI solution or you need offline access? some of your employees might be facing the situation. And that's why we are excited to introduce Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise. It provides quick access to legacy and full-featured Windows applications like Microsoft Office locally on a Chrome OS device. Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise is a great bridge as your business migrates apps to the cloud. Your users get access to the tools they need, and you've got the benefits of Chrome OS. It's easy to set up, and IT gets the right control. First, you create a Parallels Desktop Windows image and install the applications your employees need access to. Then you upload the image to a storage server. You can even create multiple Windows images for different employees in your organization. Next, you select which users have access to Parallels Desktop from the Google Admin Console and the Windows image they should use. Now, employees are ready to jump in. Parallels Desktop automatically installs on their Chromebooks. When it's launched the first time, it downloads the image you created and users are good to go. We have a great demo video on our Google Chrome Enterprise Help Center that shows you how to do this. It's linked in the resources section. Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise also gives you the right level of security. It's in the sandbox like every other app on a Chrome OS device. So you don't have to worry about security breaches on the rest of your employees' data. They can run Windows and your business gets the security of Chrome OS. Now, an employee like Natasha can run Windows and legacy applications on the Chromebook. As we covered earlier, she needs Excel that runs on Windows in order to use macros, but no worries. With Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise, she doesn't need to skip a beat. Natasha can navigate to her Excel file on her Chrome OS device. Double click it and it launches Excel right in Parallels Desktop. Because of the closed integration, it's easy for her to work across Chrome OS apps and Excel virtualized in Parallels Desktop. Working seamlessly across two environments, 
she can copy info from Chrome browser into the virtualized environment. You can see her mouse seamlessly transitions between her Windows 10 instance and Chrome OS. With printing integration, she can print directly from Windows. And with her Windows files accessible in the Chrome OS Files app, Natasha doesn't need to worry about not being able to access the files she saves and edits in Windows. If she closes Parallels or switches back to Chrome OS, Parallels Desktop pauses in the background. So when Natasha needs to go back to that Excel document, it's already loaded up and she can pick up from where she left off quickly. No need to wait for long load times. Employees can even access Parallels Desktop and work offline on their Chrome OS devices. So Natasha doesn't need to slow down her work when she doesn't have an internet connection. Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise is already generally available. And there's a free trial, so you can take it for a spin to see how your distributed workforce can stay productive with the legacy apps they need. Check the resources for this link. Our productivity improvements don't end with Parallels Desktop support. Let's throw it over to Ellie Zadina to see more. Thanks, Puneet. Hey, everyone. We've looked at so many exciting solutions today, and I've got a few more to highlight. At Chrome OS, our mission is to be the number one choice for getting things done. What does that mean to our users? UX research shows that people are productive in different ways, but revealed three guiding principles for us. First, saving time. Second, minimizing distractions. And third, maintaining context. We're trying to make things that users do frequently faster and easier for them, like tools to help users organize and find Chrome tabs faster so they can save time and get back to the tab they're looking for quickly. Even better, under the hood, Chrome browser has gotten faster too, with Chrome tabs loading up to 10% faster. We're also making it easier for users to multitask and reduce unnecessary switching to minimize distractions. We've made a lot of window management improvements like split screen and enhancements for multiple displays. And we're expanding on tools to keep you more focused like virtual desks to help users maintain context. Let's dive in and take a look at how Natasha might use these productivity features in her day. First, tab groups let Natasha right click to group her tabs together and label them with a custom name and color. Then she can easily move and reorder them on the tab strip. And with tab previews, Natasha can hover over a tab and quickly see a thumbnail preview of the page so she can find the tabs she's looking for faster. With a lot of Google Docs open at the same time, the preview lets her see which is which. We've also focused on improving window management on Chrome OS, making it easy to multitask with split screen. Natasha uses Zoom throughout the day to video conference with her team. She can easily drag Zoom to one side and let go, then drag another app, like her browser, to the other side. It's easy for her to resize the app windows too. Natasha can also use the all new tab search to quickly find and open a tab she wants. She likes to be able to reference her agenda while running meetings, so getting to it fast matters. Then she can drag an app or tab to an external monitor for more real estate. With virtual desks, Natasha can easily keep browser tabs and apps associated with different projects or topics separate. To add a desk, she can press the Show Windows key and then selects New Desk. She can create up to four desks. Natasha can drag and drop windows onto a desk to keep all her work in the right context. She can even name the desk. The Excel windows she's running on Parallels desktop go into the Sales Performance desk. Then she easily switches between virtual desks to get her work done. Now she can switch back to email and productivity to stay connected with her team and use Slack to give an update on the sales numbers she was just working with in Excel. That's a look into Natasha's day. And as you saw, a bunch of new productivity improvements for her and the entire workforce, wherever they are. With new Chrome OS releases every six weeks, 
Keep an eye out for more enhancements to these features and new productivity features as well. And don't forget, Chrome OS updates install automatically in the background so that it doesn't interrupt your employee's day. Back to you, John. Thank you, Ellie, and thanks to Puneet, Jason, and Sampada as well. We hope you've enjoyed seeing these new capabilities in action. I've personally been incredibly excited to see the thousands of people sign up to attend this event, and it's been inspiring to see how Google and Chrome OS have been able to help IT and businesses in this time of need. I hope attending today has helped you find solutions to some of the challenges you're facing today. We've seen this pandemic make it harder for employees to stay connected, harder for IT to support their workforce, and harder for businesses to continue to provide services and goods to their customers. And this is an opportunity, an opportunity for IT to lead. Pioneer the digital transformation for your company and help your business keep employees productive and engaged no matter where they are. And as you saw today, moving to a cloud-first platform like Chrome OS will help you now make your business more resilient and prepare you for the future. If you're ready, it's easy to get your business started with Chrome OS. Already have Chromebooks in your fleet? You can start a free trial of Chrome Enterprise, which will unlock the advanced security and management capabilities of those devices. You can see a link to the Chrome Enterprise trial in the resource section on your screen. If you need to purchase Chrome OS devices like Chromebooks or Chromeboxes, our partner ecosystem is here to help. You can work with one of our preferred resellers to order devices. They can help you with all the capabilities we discussed today, including drop shipping. They also offer high-touch services like helping with management settings, asset tagging, or bundling peripherals. You can contact a reseller directly or contact our sales team to get matched to a reseller that fits your needs. That link is in the resources section too. Thank you all for joining us here on Demo Day. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>